Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of November. It is the last series I will be putting out for November. Next week I will begin the December series. So um, it is general. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon and your rising sign. If those still do not resonate, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Um, this is a reading about a third party uh, relationship. So if that is not your story, then um, you should not be watching this. I feel um, that this has already been exposed. And I feel that you're still with your spouse or your long-term partner. Um, but I feel that the house is cold. Um, someone crossed a boundary. And they are thinking about this. Um, either they felt that they were dealt a losing hand or the other person, um, the partner feels like they were dealt a losing hand. Um, there was a message and uh, having to do with someone crossing a boundary, this message came out. Uh, the card of kisses indicates that this was um, the fleeting relationship. So it was the third party that was exposed here. Okay. It was uh, not the long term. It was a short term relationship that got exposed. Somebody crossed a boundary here. So. I feel that there's a lot of regret. If this was you who crossed a boundary, there is a lot of regret here and you are wanting back what you had with your partner. Okay. You are wanting that relationship or to be back in, um, that relationship with that person. There is regret for that third party. So because of this, these lies and deception uh, that went on here, um, the relationship is struggling. Here we again, we have confirmation of third party. It's here and it's all riddled throughout your reading. The, um, let's say that this was you for the sake of this reading who um, was unfaithful. The other partner still seems to be undecided and I feel that it is the memories or the good memories from the past that still hold them or hold them in that energy of indecision. So here we have the third party energies, uh, destructive relationships, um, with the skull here, um, it speaks to skeletons of the past. Um, so even it's funny, eh? Because even though this has happened and you're wanting to heal your relationship, it's almost like you're still tempted by the past or by skeletons of the past. Very strange. It could be uh, whoever this is for that the, the long term relationship is one of convenience and your security perhaps got threatened here.
because you're you're still stuck on a past situation or a past person and you don't know how to release it. There is um there is confusion um a need to it's like there's information that's missing. So uh, either you're feeling that way or they are feeling that way, that there's information that is missing um, in order to um, take that decision. There are things that need to be cleared up uh, in order for this person to, um, this this king here, uh, to take that decision to end it. So they're missing information. This is why they are undecided. And they're thinking back to memories, these memories, good memories that hold them or bind them to you in some way. Um, you may have a family with that person. So there's a, a, a truth or a clarity that has come out. And someone is um, thinking of walking away. And, and not because... I, I feel that your partner, if this was you who was unfaithful, I do feel your partner, your long-term partner, loves you. There, uh, You know, there's like on one side, we have them walking away um, brokenhearted um, because they, they must do this for themselves. And on the other side, there is um, this creating new memories uh, with with you right but then so this could be more about a decision of again what to do that they're undecided about should they walk away but they still love you or should they uh should they stay and um make new memories or try to heal this relationship um it can be I, you get the sense that this person just wants to uh crawl into a, a space where they feel secure because right now there's like no security here someone is feeling alone uh abandoned rejected betrayed again you get that sense there's some sort of information that is missing having to do with a betrayal uh, somebody being sneaky uh, with that seven of swords in this relationship and we have the female here A relationship that once had a direction right now uh, doesn't move. It's like there's no direction. One person is feeling on edge, playing their cards close to their chest. They're very emotional. And they are taking a deeper look at the situation before making a decision. Right now, they don't seem to have a direction. They're withdrawn, feeling alone. The Empress in the reverse is underneath that. Again, um, it's almost like they sit on that thought of someone having uh, uh, been uh, unfaithful. Um, they may even obsess over that in their mind it's like they just can't get over it um, somebody being secretive hiding things again you get that being on edge um, it's like a time out so it's like you're each in your own corner and with the bellows here um, it's almost like um, I go back, it, it takes me back here, do, should I, um, you know, or can we reignite this? 
or has that flame died out? And so they, they're, you know, uh, because their boundaries were crossed here and they're feeling on edge and it's, it's almost like preparation for something to come and they just, just don't know which way to go. Again, someone was unfaithful here, needing clarity with regards to a marriage or a long-term commitment wherein there was a third party that was brought in. Um, and so here we have the, the female and the male, and they, they do face each other. Um, and then we have in between them the bridge. Now, it's a little tricky because it is on the Empress in the reverse. And we have the comet, and the comet can be, uh, you know, you play with fire, you get burned. It burns what it touches. It can indicate fiery tempers. Um, it can indicate upheaval in a home. But the bridge <clears throat> is typically a positive card. And so he's looking at that bridge and it's closest to him. So it appears to be uh, the decision is in his hands. Can the obstacles or can we work through this? Because And the issue or the obstacle that you're facing is that third party, is that um, destructive type of behavior. Unfaithfulness. And so up here we have that, uh, here we have the long-term commitment, marriage, the challenging news that came in on that. Um, we see that death is riding on this, um, on this uh, long-term commitment. This death has not yet happened. So again, and two of swords, and then we have justice over here with the olive branch. So what to do? It's like a decision I don't really want to take. I don't want to end it. Um, but can we uh, fix things? Is this the right thing to do if I, you know, to stay in this relationship? So it's, um, it's like a, a back and forth thing. It's like they don't really know what to do at this point. However, you have the sun and you have the bridge. Two very positive cards. Now, um, which speaks to um, the relationship possibly having that endurance to overcome this, but it's not going to be easy. You have forgiveness up here. This card indicates healing or a need to heal through forgiveness. And, you know, that can even be self-forgiveness. We have the magic, um, the magic circle, um, which is a warning sign that someone is not telling you the truth. And I feel this applies to the other person. This is how they're feeling. They're not believing anymore. The trust here has been broken. They're taking that deeper look. The High Priestess speaks to cause and effect, consequences of our actions, um, taking responsibility for the actions and decisions that we make. Justice is also a very karmic card, and you have it twice. So some, this, you know, some sort of instant karma could have been delivered here. So uh, the High Priestess speaks to the possible effect of all things as a result of our thoughts, words, and actions. Um, it's about facing your responsibility or facing the consequences of your actions. So 
so like I said, um, this situation is not good here. And I feel that that house uh, that is like that house of cards and the cards are all very fragile at this moment and can, you know, easily fall down. Um, I feel that with having that sun and the bridge here, um, that there is a good uh, chance that they are a good possibility that this person may be willing to try. Um, but I feel that it is going to be a very long, hard road. What was lost here cannot be regained overnight. Trust is something that is earned. I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Um, also, thank you to everyone who has donated to this channel, and um, many blessings to all of you.